Hi, I'm Alyssa Wilson, a PhD candidate at the University of Notre Dame. Before beginning this talk, I would like to acknowledge my presence on the traditional territory of the Pokagon Potawatomi who have been using this land for education for thousands of years and continue to do so. I'm here to discuss the importance of incorporating education and diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives into our science and some examples of practices the Ecological Forecasting Initiative has engaged in so far. First, I want to contextualize why we should care about these topics specifically in the context of inclusive undergraduate education in STEM disciplines, which is the focus of the Ecological Forecasting Initiative's current efforts. We know from recent work, like the publications shown here, that diverse research teams, particularly in terms of gender, race, and ethnicity, tend to produce more innovative science, therefore making diversity an inherently favorable quality in STEM fields. However, we also know that undergraduate education is often approached without inclusion and equity in mind, contributing to students with underrepresented minority identities dropping out of STEM majors at the undergraduate level at a higher rate than their majority counterparts. As a relatively young discipline, ecological forecasting has a unique opportunity to critically consider how to incorporate inclusive pedagogical practices into the discipline while the common curriculum is still being developed. This has been the focus of the second year of the Ecological Forecasting Initiative Research Coordination Network. For the rest of this talk, I will discuss a couple of the Ecological Forecasting Initiative's recent efforts to improve education and equity and inclusion in the discipline. These include first, hosting workshops on inclusive pedagogy and education, and second, engaging undergraduate students in the NEON Forecast Challenge. The Ecological Forecasting Initiative Research Coordination Network hosted two meetings earlier this summer with the purpose of understanding where gaps exist in existing ecological forecasting educational resources and how to develop resources to fill these gaps in a way that promotes educational equity and inclusion. During the Inclusive Pedagogy Workshop, we focused on practical steps instructors and resource developers can take to make ecological forecasting more inclusive, as well as major challenges for inclusive instruction that the Ecological Forecasting Initiative should anticipate and address moving forward. During the education meeting, we focused on brainstorming initiatives for the Ecological Forecasting Initiative to pursue in the future and ways to implement the inclusive best practices and address challenges identified during the previous inclusive pedagogy workshop. For example, one group used the hands-on resource development time during the workshop to begin drafting resources explaining why we should care about the challenge themes from this year's NEON Forecast Challenge. This represents an initial attempt to increase the cultural relevance of the forecast challenge. The Research Coordination Network has also been considering how to improve inclusivity of education in the context of the NEON Forecast Challenge in two ways. First, through providing open access instructional resources on submitting to the challenge, and second, by considering how to improve the accessibility of the forecast challenge to undergraduate students. The challenge design teams have worked hard to make the first year of the NEON Forecast Challenge accessible to students with varying experience in quantitative ecology and forecasting by providing extensive instructions, informational videos, and code for the null model of each challenge theme, all of which is available on our website. Additionally, the Ecological Forecasting Initiative Student Association recently hosted a workshop for early career scientists that provided a series of skills-based lectures on gathering data, developing a forecast, and submitting to the forecast challenge. Recordings of these lectures are now available on our YouTube channel. Undergraduate student participation in the challenge was put to the test for the first time in the class setting this past academic year at institutions like the ones listed here. Undergraduate teams, often with some previous quantitative training, submitted forecasts to the challenge, demonstrating the feasibility of learning forecasting at the undergraduate level. However, as you can see, these courses are generally concentrated at privileged universities. This leads me to the next component of our inclusion initiatives associated with the forecast challenge, which is engagement with undergraduate students at minority serving institutions, starting with Humboldt State University. Through the Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation at Humboldt State University, two students are currently engaged in a truncated REU with the purpose of moving the students from a basic conceptual understanding of forecasting to producing a functional forecast over the course of eight weeks. 
This has involved learning about data sources, data manipulation in R, states-based modeling, Bayesian statistics, science communication, and more. Through this project, we have learned how to approach teaching students with diverse educational backgrounds to better serve ecological forecasting students in the future. So if you take anything away from this presentation, I hope it's that considering equity and inclusion in education, it's critical to increasing the diversity of voices contributing to the discipline. If you have any questions about the specific initiatives I've discussed today, please feel free to reach out to me via email at the address listed here. To wrap up, I'd like to acknowledge all the people who have contributed to the projects I've talked about today, including the participants of the Education in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Groups, the Student Association, and the folks listed below without whom these projects would not be possible.